Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Charlie. And we're in the Adventure Closet. And today? We are going to show you guys what all we are bringing with us on our trip to Southeast Asia. So come along with us. Hi, I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We've spent the last two years traveling the U.S. and Canada in our minivan Opal. We recently built out our tiny SUV GOAT to more efficiently take you along with us to some of the lesser known hidden corners of the continent. So come along with us as we immerse you in nature, stories lost in time, and discoveries of buried treasures. Who knows what we'll find next? We're trying to pack as minimal as possible and that's turning out to be very difficult. I would love to be able to just take one bag, but as it seems, I might be ending up taking three bags. And we do a lot of filming and photography. Yeah. So we're going to be bringing a little bit more than a regular minimalist backpacker would bring. But we're still trying to do everything on carry-on so we won't have any checked luggage. Yeah. We realize we're actually going to have to carry all this around between hotels and such. And that's a main reason why we want to try and keep it down to one bag, but it's probably going to end up being what, five bags total. <laughs> yeah. And once we land in Vietnam, we're going to be traveling in several different ways. We might be on trains, uh, sleeper buses, uh, taxis, motorcycles. So it's important that we can carry everything without any extra supports needed. Yeah. So let's start with my main bag. So this is everything in my first bag. We have a sun hoodie, swimming trunks, two pairs of pants, a pair of shorts, and four shirts. I am only bringing these four shirts and I know for a fact I'm just going to be drenched in sweat the whole time. So, spoiler alert for future videos. <laughs> um, I've watched a few videos of other people in uh, Southeast Asia and oh my lord. I guarantee you it's going to take me a couple weeks to acclimatize, if not longer. So, I know four shirts isn't a lot. But, and I'll probably have to wear two a day at least, but uh, that, that's what I'm bringing. My tripod, we have a power adapter for different country power, universal, a headlamp, a Google Chromecast, so I can watch YouTube on TVs at the places we rent, a mosquito net from Sea to Summit, I got a pair of Crocs that, like Liz, these are Merrill, yeah. Merrill Hydromox. And then this is a phone holder for a controller, which I'll show you later. And in here we have the other part of my tripod, the tripod head, a phone holder for the tripod, microphone, little power adapter, some cables, and a lens cleaner. And that's everything in my first bag. I had to get a second bag because electronics are heavy. Also brought five pairs of socks and five pairs of underwear. Ran out of room and weight a little bit, so those are in Liz's bag. And now for my second bag. This is all the stuff that's going to be with me at my seat. So my toys that keep me entertained on the plane. And get in the way of your feet while you're trying to rest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is everything in my second bag. We have a fanny pack for carrying money, our passports, etc. cetera. Uh, this is just hard drives and my power cable for my laptop, which I forgot to mention, my laptop is in that other bag. These are noise canceling headphones. This is our DJI microphones. And this is one of our two liquids containers. You're only allowed a quart size bag on a uh, plane and everything has to be less than 3.4 ounces, I believe. So this is my shampoos, Liz's shampoos, uh, medica medication, shaving cream, and I got a, a little stick of bug spray too, just in case. And deodorant. Now let me show you what's in here. 
So this is everything that's in that little black bag. We have a fan, a controller for playing games on my phone on the plane, a phone holder for the plane, attaches to the seat tray, I think, I hope, a uh, power bank, earbuds, earplugs, power adapter and cord. This is another universal power adapter that actually comes with USB ports as well, because obviously we have a lot to charge. And this is my drone, the DJI Mini 2. And this is basically all the stuff that I need for comfort on the plane, minus the drone. I can't really fly that on the plane. I mean, I could, but I'd probably end up in jail. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, my CPAP machine. Um, this is not counted as part of carry-on luggage because it's a medical device. You can actually pack other stuff in with it if you wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to try to fit my CPAP machine into one of my other backpacks because uh, two backpacks is already too much for me to carry. I'd much rather just have one backpack. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Everything goes in its own unique area. So this is a the packing cube with my socks and underwear in it. I put five pairs of socks, five underwear, and this bag here with the GoPros in it. And these uh, were too heavy to fit in my bag and be under the weight limit, so these had to go in Liz's. Let me show you what's in this bag real quick. In this bag, there are two GoPros, two battery chargers, one for the GoPro, one for my big camera, and four big camera batteries and three extra uh, making six total GoPro batteries and I'm bringing my trusty old big camera too. So now let's get into your bags. Yeah, so um, I kind of used what I had. I, I'm using my backpacking bag that I use for when we go on like three day hikes out in the wilderness. That's going to be my main bag. And then my other bag is my day pack that I use for day hikes. They just seem to work well for me and I think they'll work well for travel. And now let's get into my main carry-on bag. And here's what's inside of my main carry-on bag. I have my ultralight uh, Lone Peak 5 hiking shoes. I chose them because they're really light, breathable, uh, easy to carry. And then here's my clothes. I'm still debating on what I'm bringing, but I'm down to five shirts, two tank tops, a pair of shorts, three pairs of pants, and I have three pairs of socks, probably add another pair, and uh, six pairs of underwear. Over here is the stuff I'm carrying for Charlie. Here is my one quart bag of toiletries. So conditioner, soap, hair stuff, all that. Here is my backpacking first aid kit, which has band-aids, anti-diarrheal, ibuprofen, Tylenol, stuff like that. Mosquito net might come in handy. And then also I have this backpacking towel. It's just super ultralight, microfiber towel. Sun protection, I have my floppy hat and this neck guard. And I have a hair towel. I dye my hair in case any of you didn't notice, but it can leach uh, red onto pillowcases and stuff. So I like to sleep with that sometimes. And then this was a great idea for my mother-in-law to bring these hooks because we're gonna be hand washing our clothes a lot. And these will be handy to hang wet clothes in our hotel or uh, wherever we are. Then I have a laundry bag. And all of this stuff fits, or most of this stuff, fits inside of this bag where my bathing suit is. And uh, it's nice and compact. I'm struggling in the department with clothes. Uh, this is what I have so far. But, you know, what do you guys think? How many pairs of pants? How many shirts? How many socks? How many underwear? What is the perfect number? We're going to try and hand wash a little bit here and there, and we'll be able to do laundry every once in a while, but we don't want to bring too much. And now let's get into my smaller bag that I'll have with me on the airplane. This backpack will also come in handy while we're hiking or, you know, just roaming around in town and want to keep my hands free 
yet not carrying my big bag. Okay, here are the items I'll have with me in the plane. So I'm going to have my personal fan uh, to keep me cool in the plane. There's not much for temperature control in there. Also, when we're in Southeast Asia, a lot of homes that we might be staying in won't have air conditioning or hostels and hotels. So just want to make sure I have something like that to, to help. And then I'm going to have two types of headphones, which might seem excessive, but they have different reasoning. So I have my low profile earbuds, Bluetooth, that I'll probably be using a lot of the time. And then I have my noise canceling headphones for being able to go to sleep on the airplane or if I'm in a hotel in the big city and there's motorcycles going by nonstop, it should help drown out some of that extra noise. And then... I do have an extra power bank to help keep all the electronics charged, which is very important when we're filming and we have all these different devices. These two items are specifically for the plane. This is going to be a cell phone holder to so I can watch movies, play games, read books on my phone. But I also have the foot sling which I'll show you on the video from when we get on the flight how that works, but it basically is just going to make it more comfortable for me to sit in one spot. And then here is the Kindle for reading books. We have several books on there to read, books I haven't read yet, books based in Vietnam, so I'm excited to get into that while on the 18-hour flight. But I also am a lover of just a real book, so I have here The Vault of Atlantis by my buddy Brad Blanc. He wrote that. That's not the book I'm going to be bringing with me, but uh, I still haven't figured that one out yet, but just wanted to put that out there and you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't. I have my headlamp because we might go into caves. We might be in situations where we need some extra lighting. And also my book light will serve a similar purpose. That's going to be great for reading at night. And it's also, you know, nice to have a, a bedside table lamp if there isn't one. And last but not least is my handy dandy tripod. This thing is amazing. I think it's less than $15 and I take it with me everywhere. It's linked in our Amazon affiliate link in the description. A lot of this stuff is. So if you want to support us, go ahead and check out that link. You don't have to buy anything, but go ahead and do some browsing. And this isn't our final result. It might be but we wanted to kind of get this video out there to show a lot of our viewers that are a little more well-traveled than us that might have some suggestions on how we can tweak this, what we can add or subtract. Uh, you know, are we getting ourselves into trouble here? Are we bringing too much? Are we bringing too little? And we're planning to be there a minimum of three months in Southeast Asia, hopefully longer. So please chime in. Let us know what you think. If you have book suggestions for us, uh, entertainment for on the flight. Yeah, drop comment. a comment and uh, definitely help us out because we're completely new to this. You might be new to this and just stumbling across this video. And if you are, look, look at our other videos and see if we made it. <laughs> <laughs> and we really ultimately... Our channel is about immersing our viewers into an experience that they might, might not have otherwise, or, you know, maybe to get ideas on future adventures they want to do. So uh, we really want to deliver that as we go to Vietnam. We want all of you guys to feel like you are packing your bags too, and you are coming right along with us. So throw it out there. As crazy as your ideas might be, just throw it out there, what you want us to bring, what you think you want us to see or do fill those that comment section because we are so excited and we're excited to have conversation with all of you guys about this yeah i have a question for you guys have you ever been on an international flight and what country did you go to we did get some suggestions so far one was bringing compression socks while we're in the plane uh to for comfort and making sure you don't get blood clots or anything while you're sitting for such a long time. And we thought that was a great idea. Yeah. So we might be adding that to our bags here. Might be what we wear to the airport. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which, yeah, that's another outfit for us is wearing close to the airport. So 
Yeah, we didn't get into that. So um, we'll be wearing pants, uh, another shirt, and then also probably wearing our puffy jackets so that we have a coat with us while we're in Vietnam. Hopefully we won't need a jacket because it's going to be so hot, but you never know. And our jackets compress quite a bit. Yeah. And we plan to buy ponchos while we're there. Yeah, because it should still be the rainy season when we get there for at least a month or so. Mm -hmm. We'll be landing near Hanoi, which is the capital of Vietnam. And our hotel that we're staying in for the first couple nights is in the old quarter. So we're going to be kind of right in there in the action. So we're going to be able to buy things right away if we didn't bring something we needed. So that's going to be kind of nice to have a couple days to figure out what we're going to need. Yeah. And we plan on exploring well outside of the cities of Vietnam because that's just what we like to do. Yeah. You're going to see us in the city a lot, but you're also going to see us out in the rural areas, um, trying to get away from the touristy places as much as possible. Just so everybody can kind of experience something different than what you might be able to find online. Uh, we've really had limited information to what we can find on Vietnam as far as things outside of the tourist zones. So this is really going to be eye-opening for us to really immerse ourselves in a culture that is completely different from our own. Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. Are you guys excited? I hope so. I didn't show this, but we will be packing snacks. And as we pack snacks, we have to be mindful that there's no um, liquids. And I think there's certain types of produce we can't bring. So that's something we still got to research. But we'll probably bring some like bars and maybe um, some nuts if that's something we can bring. Uh, you can bring sandwiches. So we'll bring that along. But the flight will be offering food, which we plan to film for you guys to show you what it's like on an international flight for 18 hours. <laughs> Except we'll spare you the butt aches. Yeah. <laughs> and it won't be an 18 hour video, I'm sure. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was so much fun. I can't wait for the real fun to begin. <laughs> I know, yeah. This is this uh, time before the flight is just dragging. <laughs> yes, but we still have a few more episodes while we're waiting to get on our flight. We don't leave until the end of November, so uh, hang tight with us and enjoy what we have for you in the coming episodes. Yeah. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>